standing seven foot two, number 13, Luke Longley. Starting at point guard, at six foot six inches, number nine, Ron Harper. Forward, six feet, seven inches. Number 91, Dennis Rodman. The other forward, standing six foot eight. Number 33, Scotty Pippen. The other guard, at six foot six inches. Number 23, Michael Jordan. And the Jazz start out with the ball very often. Jordan with it. Pass to Pippen. Three-pointer. Count it. One for one to start the game. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Carr. There's a screen. Here's Stockton. Clock at six. Drives to the hoop. Uneasy two on the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Pass to Pippen. 4-3. Rebound, Utah. Stolen away. Now here's Jordan. Tightly guarded. Here's Longley. The baseline J. Goes back up. Now here's Jordan. Shot clock at six. On target from about 13 feet. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Here's Stockton. Tipped. Here's Pippen. Guarded by Russell. Tries it from 16. Good. He hits the jumper. Jordan's got his second basket. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Count it. Good. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Pass to Rodman. They set the pick. Here's Pippen. Here's Harper. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Right at the free throw line. Here's Jordan. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Jordan's got six. For Utah, they've gone two of four so far. Here's Hornacek. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Pass to Rodman. And here's Jordan. He's got six. Blocking foul. Ball on. Ball on the wall. Pass to Longley. Now here's Jordan. Down low. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Here's Hornacek. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Bulls foul. Michael Jordan. That's his first personal foul. First team foul.
On defense, the Bulls. Good on the shot. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Rodman. Pass to Harper. Driving inside. Here's Longley. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Here's Stockton. And it's Jordan with the rebound. The defender giving a cushion. Here's Hornacek, covered by Jordan. And again, it's Jeff Utah Hornacek. with a three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And he gets the bucket. I love it. His love for the game couldn't be more obvious. It helps him make a positive impact out on the court. And it also keeps the bench fired up. Malone can't get it to go. Chicago has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Rodman, no good. Utah has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Pass to Stockton. Here's Hornacek. Seven points in the game. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Oh! Wow. Incredible! And he double clutches and throws it down. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible! I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Malone. Here's Stockton. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Here's Pippen. From the high post, he drills it. He's got five. Nice job to recognize the lack of D in that medium range area. Pass to Russell. Here's Malone. Stockton. And he was fouled while in the act of column by the end of this one. Now here's Jordan. Guarded closely. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Pass to Hornacek. The three is up, and they recover it. Here's Keith. There's a minute 12 left in the first quarter. Shot clock at five. Here's Morris. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Now Jordan. He's got 10. Pass to Kerr. Back to Jordan. Here he goes. That's basket number six and eight tries. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Here's Hornacek, covered by Jordan. They get it again. Boy, he overdid it there. Too much force on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant one. Ooh, hard foul. Bulls tonight. Well, coming into tonight, maybe you thought they were going to settle for perimeter jump shots. <laughs> Nope, that's not the case. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. So the Jazz five right now. Four on the clock. Over to the wing. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Jordan's got 14. Utah trailing here. Pass to Malone. Longley with a rebound. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Here's Kerr. The three is up. Doesn't go for him. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. And Malone gets it to go. And here are the Bulls now. Now here's Jordan. 
14 points for him. From 20 feet. No good on the shot. And Utah will come the other way. On the attack, Morris from the arc. Shots good by Stockton. Stockton. Nine points in the game. Three points. Good decision making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. To the wing, right side. Now here's Jordan. He's guarded closely. Fades. And that one's long. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Pass to Hornacek. Let's go with a three. Making his mark again. Yeah, He's shooting seven. four for nine in this one. And the mental aspect of the game is so important. Doris, can you give an example of the type of play that demonstrates a player processing at a high level? Well, no question, B.A., on the defensive end of the floor, number one, do you have game plan discipline? Do you know your opponent's personnel? Can you force them to an area of the floor they're not comfortable or to his weak hand? On the offensive end, that turnaround, that is one of the slick moves in the business. Here's Carr. Morris on the wing. Here's Stockton. He's got nine. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Pass to Kerr. This one for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Morris outside. To the inside. It's tipped. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Here's Pippen. Lets it go from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. Give him eight. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Morris for three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Jordan's got his fourth rebound in this one. The shot from 20 feet out, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Now it's a four-point Bulls lead. Here's Stockton. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Chicago has possession. 141 left in the first half of this game. And he drives in. Here's Longley. And he lays it up and in. He's got six. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Here's Stockton. He's got 14 with the fadeaway. They get it back. Malone. And he misses. Only two for six. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Here's Pippen. Right wing. Pass to Rodman. Here's Pippen. It's rebounded by Carr. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. There's 38 seconds left to play in the half. Here's Pippen. Oh! <laughs> and he hammers in the reverse slam. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, this is an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Here's Kukoc, guarded by Russell. Here's Pippen. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. 
At the line for Chicago, Scotty Pippen. At the line for two, And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here's Jordan. He's got 18. Fades back, and it's good. Off the back rim and in. Jordan's got 20. Utah trailing here. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And for Utah, Malone can't get it to go. Chicago has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And for the Bulls, Utah's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Here's Russell, and it's rejected. And that'll be Utah's ball as it goes out of bounds. Jazz able to keep possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Pass to Stockton. Here's Hornacek, covered by Jordan. The offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Huge putback. This guy plays with so much energy. I don't know anybody that goes after the boards harder. Here's Pippen. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Misses from close range. Pass to Malone. Tipped to the middle. Ooh, good finish at the Jordan rack off the slick slip. feed. He's got 12. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Fader on the way. Back to Jordan. To the left wing. Here's Harper. He buries it from three. And the Bulls lead by eight. Hey, you leave him open, he's going to make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. Pass to Hornacek. Here's Malone. Rodman with a rebound. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Bulls have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Here's Pippen, guarded by Russell. Four seconds left. To the paint. Here's Longley. Boom! He jams it straight down. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. And a fast break now for the Bulls. And the basket by Pippen. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. The Jazz have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Malone. Fades and shoots. Not going to go that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Utah's going 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Malone. Longley with a rebound. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Pippen. Good work there as it goes. And the Bulls lead by 15. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? And that one's good. Hornacek. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Chicago has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Now Jordan, he's got 24. 
Out to the wing. Pass to Rodman. Here's Longley. Six on the shot clock. Sends it down Bonnie right in his face. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Malone. Nine points in the game. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. 11 points in the game. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. Doubled by Russell. Pass to Pippen. Here's Rotman. Jordan with it. Two minutes remaining. A little bit range. Shot is up. Two minutes. Misses off the left iron. Utah has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Outside Russell. 144 left in the third quarter here. Inside, Malone. And he drops in the layup off the glass. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Now here's Jordan. Defense is right there. Pass to Pippen. Let's the three fly. Rebound, Utah. Bulls going into halftime. He had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Coming onto the floor for the Jazz. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Here's Hornacek. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Pass to Jordan. To the inside. Here's Kukoc. They set the pick. Here's Pippen. The shot's good. 20 points for him. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Kukoc. Back to Jordan. It's good. Michael Jordan's got 26 points. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Here's Hornacek. Oh, he buries the 20-footer. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Taking a look at the Jazz. And Malone gets it to go. Come on, who doesn't like the turnaround jumper, especially when it's taken with that kind of precision? Pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. On the take. Got a hand on it. Here's Hornacek. Utah scoring again. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit. But it has to be a team effort. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Kukoc. It's Brown on the wing. That one drops for him. And the Bulls lead by nine. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Here's Hornacek covered by Jordan. The shot by Hornacek, no good. Chicago has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. The basket, the bump, and the foul. What a play. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Harper, he's checked in for Chicago. Defensive foul, Greg Ostertag. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. So it's Utah now. Down by 12. 
down in the score, you can see they're pressing a little, particularly from range. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Yep, that was good. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. The Jazz have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. That's to Hornacek. Here's Vaughn. Here's Hornacek. Shot to stop the run. And the layup is good. 24 points for him. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Pass to Pippen. Now Jordan. Out to the right wing. Here's Harper. Just five to shoot. And here's Jordan. From downtown. Right wing. Here's Pippen. Out left to the wing. Now Jordan. Second shot opportunity. Russell with the rebound. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Hornacek. And it's all from three-point range. The Bulls have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Yep, that one goes. Jordan's got seven points for the quarter. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Black, love it. Here's Hornacek, covered by Jordan. Here's Keefe, and that one is hammered home! Oh. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Jordan, defense right on him. And slam, dunk by Jordan. Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch, that's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Jeff and Hornacek. that one's good, Hornacek. Well, he is so efficient, so productive, but for them to have real success, he needs help. Jordan with it. Here's Pippen. And he gets it to go. 22 points for him. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. Pass to Hornacek. Launches a three. Hits the trifecta. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. The Bulls have gotten six of ten attempts to drop or threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Malone. Here's Carr. Here's Hornacek, covered by Jordan. Here's the teardrop. Here's Malone, outside for Russell. Just three to shoot. And again, it's Utah with a three. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Chicago leading. Too much of anything for mid-range today. Those are big free throws. Now they need some defensive stops. And it's good for two. Jordan's got 37. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. Pass to Rodman. Back to Jordan. Here's Harper. A minute 35 left in the final quarter. Just four to shoot. Here's Jordan. And he can't get that one. And Utah will come the other way. Here's Stockton. Inside. Here's Malone. Russell from outside. Rodman with a rebound. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Pass to Jordan. 
59 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Malone, Carr, and the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Here's Harper. Pass to Longley. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. For the lovable. Tries a three off the inbound. Longley with a rebound. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Pass to Harper. Back to Jordan. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Pippen. Just five on the clock. The three. That shot, no good. Good work defensively by Russell. From deep three-point range. So the Bulls win it. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in as we leave you with the New Balance Player of the Game.